Okay, hi everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, my name is Wen Jia. I represent an organization called Touch Young Arrows. If you wonder why we call it Young Arrows, um, yeah, you can talk to me privately later. Okay, so this, uh, I don't have any pictures of cute dogs and cats, but of children. Next, please. Actually, better. So, uh, Touch on Arrows is actually a part of Touch Family Services. This is our vision to have strong families, uh, caring generations, and enable communities. And uh, actually, this is a picture of uh, our camp at Touch on Arrows. So, uh, before I go to this, maybe I'll just let you know what we do. So, actually, at Touch on Arrows, uh, who we serve actually is children aged 6 to 12 years old from single parent, low income families, or dysfunctional families. So, uh, this includes uh, from uh, all races, all religions. So, uh, and it's no strings attached. And actually, what do we do? Okay. So so we actually have a regular program every week for one and a half hours. We meet with them and we provide them with a free academic coaching. We have volunteers uh, and then we have uh, centers all around Singapore. We will give them uh, this uh, coaching help in actually just two subjects, English and maths, followed by value-driven activities. Also, we also have uh, year-round character programs such as a camp and uh, such as uh, some uh, family bonding events as well. And also, we we'll also regularly have uh, home visits where actually our social worker will visit the families of, uh, of our clients. So, actually, coming back to this, so this is what we believe that what we want to do. We are here to nurture children, strengthen families and enable volunteers because we believe that every child is a star and they... Uh, we want to create a platform for them to shine, and hence that is our mission. Okay, so um, more on uh, just some geographical background. Currently, we have 23 centres. At each centre, we have around 10 to 20 children, uh, served by around 8 to 12 volunteers. So our client base is, um, I mean, big or small, depending on how you look, look at it. So uh, these are our figures. Our number of clients actually range up to 534. Actually, right now, it's around 550. And our number of regular volunteers uh, that are that's currently serving them is uh, close to 400. Um, and actually just some uh, background as well. A uh, number of graduated uh, clients turned into volunteers because we only serve the children from 6 to 12 years old. So after they graduate from primary 6, actually they'll become our volunteers. Yay. Okay, so uh, for the clients and volunteers, actually is one of our success stories and this is, uh, this is Fahan. And actually he's one of our child from a Haogang Centre and he's right now the leader, uh, leader volunteer of Haogang Club. So it's like, yeah, how cool is that, right? Yeah, you grew up in that club and then afterwards you go back and you serve there. And yeah, he come back because he believed in impacting the lives of the children under TYA's care. And actually, uh, I mentioned about year-round activity, uh, uh, year-round uh, events that we have. So this is actually just a brief run through. So as you can see, two Saturdays from now, I mean next Saturday, we'll actually be having our run and raising our fundraisers. So actually, it's our annual fundraising event where it's both a charity run and a, and a carnival at the same time. Not sure any one of you here has sign up for it so please do and uh, also uh, please come down and join us at our Gardens by the Bay so uh, just uh, some Facebook page and also uh, our flyer for Run and Raisin so uh, with all these things that I, I've tried to summarize like as fast as I can what are the problems that we face so I mentioned that uh, we have 500 plus uh, clients that are sorted in 23 centers right now hit by uh, the volunteers how can we help them is really to have an accurate uh, and updated information of how they are right now, uh, including all the way from uh, application. So how, uh, so sorry, I need to jump back. So how do these uh, children actually come to us? They actually referred uh, actually by schools, whether they are in the financial assistance schemes or actually just by word of mouth. And when they join us, they will actually fill out an oops, application form. And uh, through this application form, we'll capture some of the data, including family info, how many siblings they have, how much are their parents earning, and etc. etc. So all these calls for our favorite hero that's mentioned by all the NGO Excel. So Excel has came to rest skill us only for a while <laughs> yeah helping us to uh, sort all this data so actually every time we actually have a hard copy for our client parents to write and we'll digitize them we'll write them into uh, excel and after we just keep uh, all of them inside this data file but um, having all of that is only uh, accessed by staff and also uh, by just a number of our volunteers we are unable to actually have a, a updated and a more uh, yeah just uh, more accurate information on who they are right now and how we can best serve them. 
Uh, so uh, currently, uh, yeah, currently we're using Excel sheet and we just can't extract the data that we need easily. Sometimes we will need to uh, generate some reports for us to apply for some fundings. And we will, uh, just a very general question that will come up, like how many uh, percentage of male and female clients we have, then we'll be like, oh, okay, 23 Excel files will go inside. Sort, filter, F. Um, count. Oh, okay. So, uh, I mean, uh, if we can really have a database management where all these clients can actually be captured as a, maybe like a dashboard or all of them have a profile and all of them can fill that, that will help us a lot, a lot, a lot of time. Uh, we actually only have six staffs and yeah, yeah. if you um, help us, you'll be uh, helping us a lot. Yeah, uh, as I say, updating of their information is very time consuming as well, as we will need to key in into a file that is actually not even accessible by our volunteers. So, how uh, how we will need, or uh, what, what kind of system that we need, that, and we're really grateful for Elisha and also for Greg, that will be actually our, uh, the, the coach that helping us. We we'll actually have an easy way to export this data, and actually have a convenient way of keeping it as well, also accessible by our volunteers, so that our we can actually uh, yeah, update the information. Uh, a convenient way of updating it and preferably if let's say it can be mobile friendly or it can just be uh, on a web browser, it will be good. Yeah, so uh, coming back to how I started. So actually, uh, in Young Arrows, we really believe that every child is a star and we believe that every one of them matters. So that's why what, we're going to, uh, what we are doing is actually to help them even in, uh, uh, academically and helping their families to be strengthened so all of them can realize their full potential because we really believe that every one of them will be the next leader even of Singapore or even worldwide. So we really uh, hope that um, um, have, uh, you guys joining us on board and helping us to make our vision successful. Thank you. Thank you. So what I was sitting there and listening and then I realized that um, TLDR, Excel sucks, technology rules. And then I felt really, really embarrassed because we we're in Microsoft. <laughs> I hope Steven's not around anymore. The world works Excel. <laughs> it's a testament to how successful it's Excel. Oh, let's cut that part out in the recording. <laughs> okay, and wait, let me see your slides. Okay, we will hear from the last coach. Great. When I met the Touch volunteers a couple of days ago, I was really amazed by how much you can achieve with a single Excel file. It would never come to my mind to use Excel for that, but that's because I'm a programmer. So whenever I have something, some need for man manipulating data, I just, I just write software for my own. But then I realized, damn, I should, I should use Excel. It, it will be so, so much faster. So it's not that bad. You can really achieve a lot using Excel. But the biggest problem that it has is that it's one file. And then when you have 20 people that want to edit the same file, you end up with having 20 files, each of them containing different information. This is why uh, we're going to help touch young arrows uh, to, to update their, their system, the way they work to use an internet application so that any volunteer can access it at any time and update the information of the, child, uh, of the children independent of other volunteers so they do, not, they do not overwrite each other's work. So the first step of this will be to allow to introduce the, uh, to add the child to the system not using Excel but the, but the web application. So we need to gather this data so that later we can track a progress of each, of each child. So it will contain of some basic information like the school progress, uh, their address, to which club they, they belong, but also the notes so that volunteers can observe how over time changes the behavior and, and the progress of the children they, they take care of. The other important part is adding the events. So as it was mentioned, every Saturday volunteers meet and then uh, they work with the children. And each week, they notice something about their behavior, about, about their progress. So then, instead of remembering about it, they can just write it down, and then they can see easily who attended the event, what happened, uh, who behaved somehow uh, unusually. Maybe someone was, uh, someone was very excited, maybe someone was sad. So that later, they can easily get back to this and, and see this information, see what happened in the past. The cherry on the top, the last thing that I want to build, but which will be very challenging, 
is having the reports. This is just a very basic example that we want to see which children attended events how often, how many times in, uh, in a month. But then not only we can see uh, how, much, uh, how many events they attended, we can see the reports about their, their school, about uh, how, how other things changed in that club over the time. My name is Grzegorz. For the last seven years, I've been traveling around the world and working with various companies, with various clients, helping them build, build a software. Right now, I'm located here in Singapore, and I'm super excited to work with Touch because I, I was really amazed by, by what they work, uh, but by what they do. But also, I need to make you aware that I'm an extremely picky person, and it's not easy to work with me. I have very high working standards. So, except for having fun and except for learning a lot and preparing to become a professional programmer, you will have to put really a lot of effort and have a lot of patience. <laughs> but I can guarantee you that this will be extremely, extremely interesting adventure. Thank you very much.